I remember it well. Flying on private jet planes over international cities and landing in places like uh, Tenerife Island off the coast of Morocco or maybe in Madrid or Barcelona. You see, we flew on private jets and it was awesome that when we would land, I'd be able to look outside the window and see a blanket of people who were waiting there with their cameras and waving their flags. And when the hatch of the jet opens up, I step out on the top step, and when I look out, I'm looking for my ground man so he can give me a thumbs up that we're clear, that the ground secured, that we can exit. And as I begin to walk down the steps, I notice the flash bulbs of cameras that are going off. No, they're not there taking pictures of me. I turn and I look back to the top, and very graciously, I see Mark Anthony and his his wife, Jennifer Lopez, standing at the top of the stairs, waving to the people as they walk down off of the G5. Wow, I can remember those days so clearly because I would always say to myself, life doesn't get any better than this. Or maybe I can recount the time of where I'm driving a $350,000 Rolls Royce. You see, this Rolls Royce isn't just any Rolls Royce because this one has 22 inch wheels with a name in Boston them. It says Sean John. You see, today isn't just any day in Miami, Florida. Today is the day that Diddy's going to be hosting the VMA Awards. And as he exits the Rolls Royce and a hundred people come to attend to his every need and they take him inside and I'm sitting there for the first time all by myself. I hear God. And he so clearly says to me, you're not doing what I created you to do. I told you. Go and tell people what I've done for you. I didn't know what had happened, but something began to change. Andrew asked me about my son and I proudly began to tell him about my boy Bradley and how he was going to be just better than me and he wasn't going to make the mistakes that I made and as I finished talking to him I remember there were tears coming down my face that felt